Hello, it is Chef Sammy. We are cooking with patience and welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, please, please, please go watch my Southern Peach ice cream video. I would really, really appreciate that and subscribe to the channel because we are still sitting at 13 subscribers. Today, we are going to make some oatmeal raisin chocolate chunk cookies, a special request that was made. So I want to go ahead and tell you how I made those. We need to gather some ingredients, of course, uh, make sure we have the right equipment and some tools. And then I'll go ahead with the instructions. All right, what you're gonna need is one stick of softened butter, a fourth a cup of sugar, half a cup of light brown sugar, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, one and a half cups of oats, a fourth a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and one cup of flour. So if you see me using, you know, that measuring cup twice, it's because it's only half of a cup, okay? Raisins, you're gonna need a cup of raisins, half a cup of chocolate chunks, uh, an eighth of a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and one large egg. The tools that you are gonna need, unbleached um, parchment paper, a baking pan, a whisk, a spatula, some kitchen shears to cut your parchment paper evenly, measuring spoons, some sort of a like Pyrex glass, measuring cups, your paddle attachment, and two bowls. Then the equipment, of course, a KitchenAid mixer, or you can use any other mixer, I guess, some form of a microwave, to soften your butter. And I use the Cuisinart air fryer oven. And as I told you guys, I'm really trying to get sponsored one day, you know, it's not sponsored. All right, now after you've gathered all of those ingredients, let's get started. What I need you to do first is go ahead and preheat your oven for 350 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, on my oven, I go all the way up to 22 because this recipe only requires to bake the cookies for 13 minutes. Go ahead and cut out your unbleached parchment paper with your kitchen shears so that it fits the pan evenly and it doesn't, you know, sort of try to catch a fire in the oven. I've seen that happen before with it hanging off on the sides. Now, I need you to take your larger bowl and you are going to combine your flour, your baking powder, cinnamon, salt, and oats. And now we are going to whisk. Yeah, I feel like sometimes I'll whisk a little weird, but that's okay. Whisk the way you want. All right, now set that to the side and go ahead in another bowl, which is the smaller bowl, combine your granulated sugar and your brown sugar together. You have to really pack that brown sugar. That's why it looks like that, okay? I don't know why I was just thinking about the cheesecake, so I put it on that way. <laughs> and then you need to go over, grab your clear glass, which is like a, looks like a, like a, a Pyrex measuring cup or whatever, and microwave your butter for 30 seconds. Do not put it in, <laughs> do not put your butter in the microwave just by itself because you're gonna mess up the um, little turntable. All right, now go ahead, put your sugar, both sugars now, granulated and your light brown in the mixing bowl. And then go ahead and start beating that with the softened butter, okay? After you've done that for maybe about a couple minutes, then you're gonna go ahead, add your egg and then your vanilla. After that, this is the fun part, just go ahead and start adding your raisins and your chocolate chunks, followed by all of the ingredients that you mix in the bowl, the cinnamon, the oats, the salt, the baking soda, and the flour. All right. You want to make sure that you lock your mixer. You can probably hear my mixer um, getting sturdy. 
up now. I'm just kidding. Um, it's making a lot of noise because I forgot to lock the mixer. And it was just too late to turn back. Then once all the ingredients are mixed, you are going to go ahead and you're going to stop it. You're going to use your spatula to remove the dough off of the paddle attachment. And you are going to put that dough in a bowl and transfer it to the refrigerator let it sit in there 30 minutes and then after 30 minutes you're going to go back and you are going to bake your cookies for 13 minutes rotating halfway in between the baking time now i know i said go ahead and preheat your, your oven so some people will just keep their oven preheated until the 30 minutes run out but if you don't want to do that just go ahead and just you know start the preheating after you do everything else all right and then voila we have the oatmeal raisin chocolate chunk cookies and the feedback that i heard was oh my this is a good cookie Oh, this cookie is really, really good. Oh, this is how you make an oatmeal raisin cookie. Whatever that means. So I guess that was just, you know, a five-star review possibly. All right. Well, you have reached the end of this video. I didn't want to make it too long. But again, go ahead and watch my other videos. You know, especially the ones that I work really hard on. Like the ice cream. The strawberry roll. The sushi. Bye.